what, guys? You know what time it is? Season 4, The Snarls of Lava is live. We have a new dedicated banner for all of these heroes. So I think it would make sense for me to summon a little bit in here and try to get my most wanted. I do want to get Asteon. I do want to get Halram. So if I'm getting a couple of different ones, I'll be, I'll be pumped too, as long as they're good, you know? If I'm getting, uh, if I'm getting Paxton, awesome, awesome character. Uh, so yeah, you guys, you guys know the drill. You guys know the drill. I don't think I'm going to summon all 100. I hope I will have better rates than on my, uh, on my regular uh, banner though. So hopefully, hopefully that will be the case and have slightly better rates, you know? Grab this once in a season opportunity. Yes, please. Bring my legendaries home early on so I don't have to insist much on this banner. Okay, I was gonna say, can you start with a legendary maybe? So we started directly with five rares. Uh, none of the new ones. None of the new ones. None of the new ones. I do want to collect the epics too, though, but I want to get legendary. So we got two epics. Hopefully they're both new. Awesome, we got Dino. We got Mira. Let's go. Let's go. Both amazing, amazing. They're probably together with Nacha, the best, uh, the three best epics that were added this season. Uh, Alistair is new, actually. So we got a new rare right there. Beautiful. Okay. I want to get three legendaries in a five pop or two. Game, please make it happen. Magan and a new epic. Give me Nacha. Okay, we gotta dupe Dino. We gotta dupe Dino. I want Nadja for my Ice Blast team. And we wanna get Roberta too. Oh, I'm feeling this, baby! Oh, Feliciberta! I wanted you so freaking bad. And I wished... I wish you were so much better than you are. But unfortunately... Unfortunately, the kit is not as good as I would like it to be. But let's refresh our memory. As the battle starts, inflicts Datura Mark. I don't know what the Datura Mark is. I haven't seen this uh, pretty much anywhere just yet. But either way. So, uh, on the enemy with the highest attack, when the enemy under Datura Mark dies, uh, reselects a target. When enemies under Datura Mark gains, uh, gain a buff, reduces the recharge time of the hero's battle skill by 20%, and the hero recharge ultimate uh, energy by 20%. The skill only take, uh, takes effect once uh, every 5 seconds. Moves to the enemy with the highest attack, removes their shield and steals one buff from them, dealing attack and enlightenment damage. This skill ignores 50% of the enemy's resistance. Uh, when hitting enemies under frozen, the hero steals their shield instead of removing it. Then, deals attack and enlightenment damage. If she would deal just pure damage without the enlightenment, I feel like it would be much better. Uh, to enemies within range with a chance to inflict Frozen on them for 5 seconds. The effect ignores 20% of the enemy's resistance. The Frozen inflicted by this skill also blocks the enemies from resurrection upon their death. So wait. If I put Frozen on one character, and that character dies even if I don't have Frozen, it cannot resurrect, or it needs to die while under is a Frozen debuff placed by this character. And then... Or basically uh, killing Mitrasi. So she could, she could, it's just PvP. It's just PvP, basically. She's gonna be solid for PvP. By the looks of it. Damn, Ernie, she loves us. We got how many Ernie's we got today? 20? We got 20 so far. Three Legos in a five pool, yeah, as on my free to play account, like on my free to play account. That would be something. Okay, I'm smelling a Nadja in here. Okay, we got uh, Ashkar, which is new. And another Ashkar, which was new a couple of seconds ago. <laughs> which was new a couple of seconds ago. Come on, game. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Who do we have? Who do we have? Who do we have? We got Tarula, which is new. We got Dench. Yes! Yes, yes, yes. We got Asteon, baby. Let's go. Exactly what I wanted. Let's go. What an amazing, amazing legendary. Probably the most impactful legendary out of all of them. Very good for the Vortex. Very good versus every single boss. And I think she's going to be an absolute monster versus the ancient battlefield guys. Absolutely insane. 
This passive does all the magic. Dropping the uh, HP and the defense on the target by 30% is going to be massive. And giving 50% of that to the ally with the highest attack, beefing up your character is even better. Very, very, very solid, guys. Then you have, of course, the stun, the grand crit hit resistance uh, to the tank, uh, to the tank, to the damage dealer. Very good for PvP. Uh, you're getting the healing from here. Uh, replaces the buff with a random debuff. Very good for PvP again. Man, awesome, awesome character. Probably the best character that they've added in terms of legendaries this season uh, for general use. Awesome. And we got her. Let's go. Let's go. So now we just need a tank. We just need the tank. And we need Nadja. Nadja, she might be the only epic that we are missing now. If I'm not mistaken. Out of the new ones. Come on, game. Make it happen. Yes! 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 Who do we have? Megan? We got Roberta. Nice. She's new and awesome. Amazing Ice Blast character, guys. Okay, Arlo. Gusti. Okay, and we got uh, we got um, Shakla, which is the which is the aura legendary. I'm not a hundred percent sure how effective she will be, but I might start with aura this season to make my life easier because they will be more effective in the temporal vortex and everywhere because I do have the exclusive right. So the passive enters the blaze state when possessing the aura. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all know that uh, drill. And uh, consumes Blum 5 ultimate energy and grants one stack of crit damage up to the ally, uh, to the aura allies with the most attack and uh, Shakla herself up to 20 stacks. So basically, we're gonna get crit damage up. Then the battle skill gains 15 aura energy and deals radiant damage to the target and the nearby enemies. The hero gains extra 10 aura energy when hitting one enemy. While in the blaze state, consumes 5 aura energy and deals additional. 4% uh, targets max HP radiant damage. No more than 200 of the hero's attack. We know the drill with that. And the ultimate basically releases an energy wave that can bounce between enemies up to 4 times. Each bounce deals 350% attack radiant damage to them. Okay. Doesn't sound too bad. Doesn't sound too bad. And you have attack aura for all battles, which is something that I appreciate. Okay, we're doing good. We're doing good. We're doing good. We're do Ooh, Nadja, she's definitely in here. I'm feeling it. Okay, I for oh, we, we got uh, Talorian before, actually. So no Nadja in here. Hopefully, she's not going to try and dodge us, you know? Do not dodge us. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Okay, another Vanny. We got a Usha. Letalis Ernin. Oh my god, she absolutely loves loves us today. How many of her we got? I lost track. Okay, tax. We gotta pay tax as well. Okay, we got uh, we got uh, Bronag, new new rare uh, uh, rare hero from the poison element. Sabrina, Eli, or Ellie. Eli, Ali, Ali, how, how are you guys saying that name? Okay, we got another Dino. Man, come on, give me that tank. Give me that tank, please. Or the burn, or the burn, uh, the burn activator. He's, he's awesome too. My God, again, earning. Give us a break, please. Send in some Najas. Send in some Najas. Not just. Oh, ho, ho, who do we have? Please. Please, please, please be one of the two. Be one of the two, please. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And yes, again, ladies and gentlemen. Halramar coming home. Halramar coming home as well. My two most wanted legendaries from the season four banner are now on my account. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. That is exactly what I'm talking about. We have this crazy passive. He is probably one of the best PvP tanks in the entire game, guys. He does so many crazy things that you cannot even imagine, okay? As the battle starts, 
summons the Dark Cloud. Hal Ramar cannot gain extra attack speed, but Dark Cloud will launch additional attacks following Hal Ramar's basic attack. Dark Cloud has a 10% chance to inflict buff prohibition on enemies for 5 seconds. The chance of inflicting buff prohibition by Dark Cloud depends on Hal Ramar's resistance. Every time resistance increases the chance by 1%. So, when he is on the uh, battlefield, enemies' ultimate energy obtained through skills and artifacts will be reduced by 80%. 80%. 80. <laughs> That's crazy. That is crazy. So, the Rift Hourglass and all of those fancy things will get such a massive slap from this tank, though. It's crazy, actually, how impactful this will be. The battle skill commands the Dark Cloud to deal attack poison damage to the enemy with the highest attack, with a chance to inflict attack penalty, and with a chance to inflict orientated taunt on them for 3 seconds, which will force them to launch basic attacks on the enemies with the highest attack. Then the ultimate deals 700 attack poison damage to all enemies, with a chance to inflict recharge speed penalty and orientated charm on them for 10 seconds. Enemy's ultimate energy will be reduced by 20%. Again, recharge speed penalty, ultimate energy manipulation, and oriented charm, which means that all of the allies from the entire map will attack the ally with the highest attack in their team, which will basically wreck uh, their damage dealer. Man, Hal Ramar, yes, yes, exactly what I'm talking about. Sweet. So, you know what? Let's let's go and try to bring that Naja home. And uh, let's try to, to bring the, the horse rider as well. Praxton, right? Or Praxton. Court. Vanny. Okay, another Talorian. Another Tarula. He's, he's the, one, the one missing. He's the one missing. He's the one missing. So we got a bunch of rares here. That's fine. Okay, the new ones. Awesome ones, though. Both of them are good, those rares. Definitely do not sleep on them this season. Okay, Nadja, please. Please. Please come home. Okay. Another Ashkar. Zaidi. Yelindra. Awesome rare. Awesome rare. 16 more chances to get something good. 16 more chances. Let's go. Sifla again. Letalis. Mira. Awesome, awesome epic as well, guys, by the way. 11 more to get the horse rider. Frakeston. Frakeston. Come home. Come home. Come home as well. And then I, then I can call, call this a happy ending. I can call this a happy ending. <laughs> okay, so I think the next five will take me to mercy. I think the next five will take me to mercy. Bring it on. Bring it on. Don't be a dupe, basically. Don't be a dupe. Don't be a dupe. Gulal. Dora. Alorian. Ah, oh, Perseus. No, no, no. Why you? Why are you hunting me? What is your inspiration even doing? I gotta check that. Okay. So we gotta do Perseus, guys. We've, uh, we summon him on the regular banner, right? Uh, not doing too, uh, too bad, right? Not doing too bad. So I guess, I, I guess it's fair play. I guess it's fair play. I guess it's fair play. At least I got my two most wanted, though. That's, that's all that matters. I do want to get a burn one as well, because it's gonna be an awesome, uh, awesome character, but... Hey, wish you guys good luck as well with your uh, with your summons.